see, I've got a bunch of like miscellaneous stuff on me, and I've got notes on me, same same kind of stuff as like, you know, junk and books and stuff like that. Uh, you can see the skills that I have so far. I'm already level 20, I believe. Uh, I would like to rank up my stealth so that I can be a little bit more stealthy, maybe get a little bit more damage with uh, silenced weapons. Uh, I've leveled up my fitness, giving me more oxygen, which is essentially stamina in this game. I've leveled up my wellness to increase my health. I've leveled up my persuasion to allow me to be more successful when persuading somebody in speech, um, which is a really cool feature in this game. Uh, it's kind of the classic like Skyrim. Uh, you can bribe, persuade, uh, intimidate people, but it's in a different a little bit of, you know, a different manner. Uh, it's more interactive. And it's interesting that way. I've leveled up my scavenging. I've leveled up my ballistics. I've leveled up a lot of my science. And a decent bit of my deck. Um, but, you know, you guys probably know um, about all of this if you've been playing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hail the Trident Star Yard. Let me see what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to travel here. Let's see. Maintaining the edge, I believe is the name. Travel to the Trident Luxury Line Star Yard. Uh, I have to obtain the prototype. So there's apparently a prototype here that is going to uh, be very successful for one of Ryogen's competitors. And it's our job to uh, go and steal that prototype. So this is a little bit of a espionage mission. Basco, oh, this is our robot companion. Uh, what do we got here? Free Star Collective. So we're stealing from the Free Star Collective. Yikes. I don't know if that's good or bad. Let's talk to uh, Gia Jin here. Trident Luxury Lines. Okay, so this is like a luxury starship dealer, I guess. Oh, they do cruises. Cool. Our trident ships you really what they're cracked up to be. Best in class. Top to bottom. No, clearly no. Wait. Deimos. Okay. Stroud Eklund. Okay. Uh, it more than one makes up in luxury and comfort. Okay, so this is like, this is going to be like probably a nicer inside interior ship. Um, I appreciate your honest evaluation of Trident ships. Um, I wonder if we can like unlock the like interior, the luxury interior, and then like slap some weapons on it and slap some really nice shields on it. Um, we're not going to book a cruise or anything. We're going to go ahead and continue on with the mission. Um, let's go ahead and open this door. Although, nope, expert level lock. I don't, don't have expert level lock picking abilities. Let's just go down the stairs here. Free store collective. Okay, nice gun you're holding there, buddy. Alright, it's, uh, it's definitely still got some bugs in it. It is, it is a Bethesda game after all. Uh, this is locked, but it's a novice lock. We are detected. As it currently stands. Um, okay, now we're hidden. And now we're detected. Now we're hidden. Now we're detected. Okay. There we go. Alright, so now we can try our hand at picking this lock. Now, lock picking in this game is honestly the toughest it's ever been. Let's see. There and then there. Yep. Okay. So, uh, basically, you have these things called digi picks. Uh, you have to line up the holes with the, um, oops, uh, you have to line up the holes with the, oh my gosh, I did it again. There we go. Boom, boom. Line up the, like, little prongs with the, uh, holes on the lock. Let's go ahead and steal this. 
as as well. So you'll see. I'll I'll kind of go slowly this time. What I like to do is I like to line up a bunch of different ones at the same time, and then see if you know scroll through them and see if they match up. See that one's good there, and then this one's good there. So we'll go ahead and go with these two. Uh, if you mess these up though, it could be a big problem. You kind of lose the digi pick. So this one was relatively easy. These novice ones are pretty easy. We're gonna steal the prototype. Okay, return to Emojin and Ryujin Towers. Hopefully we don't. Uh... Let's see. Are these all just? Are these all just base employees? Yeah, they are. Did I miss anything in here? By the way, sometimes.
Genevieve is not happy about something. All right, let's meet Alara. Alara. The one I've been hearing so much about. I'm glad that I've made a, a splash. Head of operations. What do you think of your new job? Uh, wait. Job seems to run up my alley. Security. I wonder why. Maybe I have a security uh, perk or something. A security background that I'm able to use in that. Yes, I don't mess around. Five successful standard assignments. No, no incidents at all, actually. name. 
somewhere in like Australia or somewhere in like Europe or we could have landed on Antarctica like or the locations that used to be you know we could and we could explore that it would randomly generate land based on where we landed based on the resources that are available in that area sludge pools interesting there's got to be some mercury here right rock piles over here what is this rock piles copper okay so there was actually copper here which is not on the uh not on the here's the sludge pools wait this is please tell me this is mercury the uh, 
longsword chimera or where are they going where are they going are they gonna go attack take on somebody are they dipping what are they doing more people just came in there's a gal bank holder here's a trader right here so we can actually trade uh, trade with this ship let's see what they have do they have anything good resources power circuit uh, sterile nanotubes I'm not really sure exotic manufactured component okay maybe we should maybe we should grab these we'll grab like a couple of these just so we have some this uh, could be very rare materials that we might need down the road but you know like I was saying I'm just I'm over the moon about this game uh, no pun intended I want to hear from you guys what you guys think uh, I think it would be fun to do different ship builds in this game for videos. I mean, there's a lot of content to be made in these videos. We could, you know, build our own outposts on, you know, any given, you know, if I wanted to, uh, I could open up the planet map. I could, uh, go and find a place in the middle of the desert. Let's actually scan this and see if there's, okay nothing but lead out here uh, we could technically go and make a lead farm out in the middle of the rocky desert in Mars um, let's go and travel down here to Sidonia though and be a lead farming outpost uh, I, there's just so many different things you can do in this game uh, here's, here's a shot of Mars this is actually our second time back here on Mars but uh, that's another thing if I wanted to obviously I could go and rendezvous I could continue the mission but look at that a thousand meters away there's some mines over there what is this 1300 meters away there's a structure over there 600 meters that way there's another structure is there anything this way Mars launch pad there's a bunch of different things that we can go and explore in, on this planet let me tell you, once I get to that abandoned mine, there very well may, may be another abandoned mine, another thousand meters on the other side of it. People that are complaining about the worlds not being as explorable as they promised, they, they are just being very cynical, in my opinion. And I, I, I don't know. I just love this game. I love this game. Let me know what you guys think about this game in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Uh, if you guys have any tips on what I should maybe do, what I should, uh, what side quests I should maybe go after, let me know. I'd love to hear about it in the comment section. But I'm going to be playing this probably tomorrow on a live stream. If you guys want to subscribe, tune into the live stream. I'm going to be probably playing this until 2K comes out on Thursday. and 2k but I'm so excited I'm so excited to finally have a great single player experience to play so leave a like comment subscribe I'll see you all in the next one